Hello and welcome back. Today we are still in the first chapter of biology which talks about nutrition. And also we are still in the nutrition of the plants and the last time we talked about the water pathway through the root hair cells till they reach to the xylem vessels. And today we will talk about the methods by which the plant absorbs the salts. And here we have three methods. The first one is called the fusion. The second one is called selective permeability. And the last one is called the active transport. So the first thing is called the fusion. And we, have, and we have told about the diffusion in the methods by which the plant absorb the water. And we said that diffusion is a movement of the ions or molecules from a medium of high concentration to another medium of low concentration. But here today we will also talk about the ions as the ions ca can move from the outside medium to the inside medium, the salt ions can move from the water medium to the inside the, the plant. And we have some positive ions and negative ions such as the, we have chlorine negative, we have sodium positive, we have calcium which is double positive, we also have magnesium which is a double positive and so on. So here the diffusion in the plant can take place so, they, so, so that there is an ions exchange. For example, a sodium ion may go outside the plant and, and an, a potassium ion replace it. Potassium ion, which is a K plus. So this is the fusion. Well, in selective permeability, and we have also talked about the selective permeability in the water absorption through a semi-permeable membrane, which is the plasma membrane. And we, in the water absorption, we mentioned that the I, uh, the ions or the molecules are selectively permeable according to their size so that some molecules are allowed to pass because they are small in size others pass hardly and other molecules do not pass at all such as the fat molecules because they are large in size while here in the salt absorption the selective permeability depends on the needs of the plant so that the plant absorbs the salts according to its needs, regardless of their size or its, their shapes. The last and the most important thing is the active transport. And here the active transport is, can be considered the opposite of the fusion, because the ions move from a low concentration medium to a high concentration medium or in other words they pass against the concentration gradient for example researchers had made an experiment involving a kind of algae is called Nutella algae here we will see
They carried an experiment using this kind of algae, Nutella algae, which live in swamps. So the results of experiments, they wanted to examine the concentration of salts inside the cell sap of the Nutella algae and outside the cell sap in the soil medium. So here we have a graph that looks like this. Here we have the sodium in A plus, the potassium K plus, calcium here a double plus, MD double plus, and fluorine negative. And here the concentration write it vertically. So this is the concentration of the salts, and these are the salts. We'll have the key here. The blue is for the cell, sap, and the red is for the soil, water, or the swamp, water, sorry. Because the Nutella algae lives in swamps, or the swamp water. So first we will draw the concentration inside the cell sap. We'll have the sodium like this. Potassium is a bit higher. Calcium is between the sodium and the potassium, like this. Magnesium is, be is between the potassium and the calcium. And here the most one is the chloride. So we notice that the concentration of the salts inside the cell sap is high. Well, if we see the swamp water so, uh, salts concentration, here we'll have sodium like this. Potassium is less than sodium. Calcium is a bit higher. Magnesium also. And the chlorine. So this, the salt concentration, each salt concentration, when it's compared to its concentration inside the cell sap, it's very small. So how does the plant absorb the, uh, the salts from the outside medium inside the swamp water to the inside of the plant in the medium of the cell sap? It uses the active transport. So, we said at first that active transport is the movement of the ions we said that the act of transport is the movement of the ions from a, a low concentration medium to a higher concentration medium uh, or against the concentration gradient by use of chemical energy we can say it another, in another words so that when each in any molecule or ion is transferred from the outside medium to the inside medium of the plant by the use of a chemical energy so this is called active transport at last we will talk about the, this chemical energy so if the plant uses active transport it will consume a part of its chemical energy and this chemical energy the plant gets it through the oxygen and the sugar as they are used in the respiration of the plant and accordingly both of oxygen and sugar are important for the active transport or for the salt 
absorption in the plant. And that is the end of our part today. That's it for today and uh, I think it's uh, an easy part. The next time we will talk about the uh, we'll talk about the rest of the nutrition of the plant and see you next time. Thanks for watching.